This morning, Breakfast Television got the exclusive sneak peek before anybody else inside of the brand new Eaton Centre pedestrian bridge that's linking Hudson's Bay and Saks Fifth Avenue to the Eaton Centre. Two million people walk this bridge annually, and now the brand new bridge is officially opening today. We got to speak to one of the architects behind the design. And really, it's, it's, uh, it, it looks a really exciting design, but at its simplest, it's really uh, the challenge is to connect the historic arches of the Hudson's Bay across to the more rectangular shape of the Toronto Eden Centre. So that's really how the form has evolved. It's a, it's a shape that transforms from an arch at one side across to uh, a rectangular shape, which is the Eaton Centre. And that gives you this twisting, spiralling geometry uh, of the form as it crosses over Queen Street. Walk across that bridge. You'll feel how dynamic it is. As we were on the other side of the curtain getting the preview, the ribbon was being cut to open the bridge to the public. The original idea was that it was a poetic handshake between, between the two buildings, the historic building on Queen Street and the glass modern, a more modern structure at the Eaton Centre. It took one year to design and another year to construct. Most of the bridge was put together around the corner on James Street before being lifted into place this past July, replacing the old bridge that stood over Queen Street for 40 years. Two million people a year walk across this bridge. So before in the old bridge, I suspect there'll be more people walking across it now because it's a... It's an interesting sculpture just to come and see and experience in and of itself. And if there is indeed some increased traffic here on this new bridge, well, you don't have to worry about any crowds at all because this structure can hold nearly 155,000 pounds. At the Eaton Centre, Tammy Sutherland, City News.